Hi, everybody. Welcome to Oil Country, Edmonton, Alberta. He's Ray Ferraro. I'm James Sabalski. The Oilers roll in as one of the hottest teams in hockey tonight, Ray. They haven't missed for a while. I've liked everything about them on this winning streak. They've took the game to their opponents. Their special teams have been good. Their goaltending's been good. When you're riding high, keep it rolling. Enough talk, enough hype. Let's do this. Your first period is set to go. The Oilers take possession here on the opening draw, and we are underway. Great hits up play with the stick by Chikrin. Through the middle of the ice, they enter the attacking zone. Looks to make a play over to Coffey. The Oilers have it now. Poked away in the offensive zone by Hall. The Coyotes gain control of the puck. Feeds it on over to Strom. Edmonton's got the puck in their own end. Gaining momentum along the wing. A shot! That's turned away with the pad by Brossois. Quick feed to Strom. Pumps it away in his own end. The Oilers move to the offensive zone. Hammers one at the net, and a great save! Taken along the wall by Gretzky. Up along the wing. Oh, devastating collision lined up in the railroad tracks. And that one's broken up. Great block there. The Coyotes will play it in their own end. Sends the pass over. Here's a shot. Too much congestion in front. Picked up along the boards by McDavid. Here's a short pass to Lee. Nice feed from the right wing. And they won't connect on that one. Feeds it to Young. Looks to pass it to Larkin. The Coyotes played along the boards. Oh boy, here's trouble. Two on one. Moves it to Messier. Picked off by Young. Great reach with the poke check. Takes the feed at center. There's the whistle from the linesman calling it offside. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period. Still looking for our first goal. The Oilers win possession here in the open ice. Takes control of the puck. Quick pass to Nakis. And now he angles it across to Dreisaitl. And he takes a shot. What a save by Brusslaw. Any milestone is awesome, but 50 has long held a special place in hockey lore. 49 goals is great. Nobody drinks. if you can score 50 goals in a season. Uh, goalie burps up this rebound here. It comes right back into the shooting area and the rebound is put away. We learned long ago that three was the magic number, but in hockey, it always feels like 50, Ray. 50 is a milestone goal. This has been coming for weeks, and he's been able to cash it in. What a season. The Coyotes gain possession. Here's a shot. Oh, flashes the leather to get a piece of it. Gaining momentum in the offensive end. Here he is, wrists it on net. And that somehow stayed out of the net. You expect certain guys in. Scores! What a shot on the one-timer! No goaltender was stopping that one. Ah, oh, this.
this is real teamwork here. I mean, this passing is crisp and sharp and on the tape. And then the scorer gets the puck with a chance to finish it off. Goals like that don't happen without passes like the one that we saw from him there. It was perfectly placed and helped set up that chance, guys. That's a great example of his tape-to-tape -tape zone ability. Wax it into the offensive zone. Great reach with the stick by Johnson. Delayed penalty coming up here by the official. Moves it quickly over to Curry. And they get the extra attacker out as the goaltender gets to the bench. And there's the whistle. Let's get the call from the official here. He's going off for interference. Just a little bit late for the play that he made. The puck was there, now it's gone, and he gets called for interference. First chance of the night here on the man advantage. You want to win the special teams battle almost every night. Well, the power play's first chance to check in here. We'll see what they can get done. Quick feed to Gretzky. Scores! Putting the power in power play. Did just about everything right on that man advantage. They capitalized. to see the play, the skills to create the play, and then thankfully, at the end of the day, somebody scores the goal. zone from the left and he slides it quickly to Lee beautiful read in the defensive end by Chikrin Young's carrying it ahead Edmonton's got the puck nice pass went for the dirty dangle and it goes sideways gets the full use of his stick on the poke check puck exits the zone moves it to Strom and that's a great heads-up play by Gretzky. Edmonton's played almost the perfect game. They're in the right position all night long, intercepted almost any play. through the middle of the ice and capitalized on their opportunities. And that's some 
great pressure in the offensive end by Strom. Along the right wing, they enter the attacking area. Stays with it. Oh, a little too much stick work, and the officials with their arms in the air. The Coyotes have been called for hooking. There's certain plays, as soon as they happen, the red flag goes up for the official. Stick goes across the player's waist. He's looking for hooking. The game has become better since they've cracked down on obstruction, Ray. Johnson's out here for the power play, guys. We know he's got that zone ability, and it could be a weapon here as they try to get on the board with the special teams. The Coyotes win the draw, and they get that puck down the ice. Edmonton's got a hold of the puck now. Slides the puck to Dreisaitl. Cuts into the paint. Comes up with a big low save. Brassois' outstanding play continues. That's a great save. Quick pass to Timmins. Takes the feed. Nakis plays it into the offensive zone. And that's blocked away. Arizona's got the puck shorthanded. Hayden's moving it ahead. Things starting to get a little physical out there. Musa quickly over to Nakis. The Oilers play it along the wing. And that's broken up. Yeah, puck doesn't get to the net. Good positioning by the defender. Edmonton's got it in their own zone. The Oilers look to start the transition game. From the right wing, he moves it to the middle. And that's a great heads-up play in the offensive zone. Here's a chance right in the slot, and he can't find his man. Quick feed to Young. The Coyotes have it against the wall. Moves into the slot. Edmonton's got the puck. Headman pass. And that's intercepted by Strom. Right up the gut into the attacking zone. Gobbles that puck up with his chest. And we're gonna get a whistle here. Getting into the later stages of this period, the Oilers have dominated this one to this point. They lead it three nothing. Young's won the draw here in the offensive zone. Takes the feet at the back end. And that one's broken up. Edmonton's got a hold of the puck. And that banks off a stick. And he comes up with it. In front and a stoppage on the play as the goaltender covers things up. The official signals for the players to get into position and we're about ready to drop the puck. The Coyotes win the draw. Edmonton's got possession of the puck. The Oilers take it along the wing. And it's a quick pass to Coffey. Sends a pass over. Oh, what a save in front. Handles the puck. Takes a shot. Goalie with a stop. There's the whistle as things will slow down here for a moment. Always a good play if you're not sure what's going on. Freeze the puck. off the face-off. Scrum along the boards as they battle for the puck. Takes the feed. The Oilers move the puck in the defensive zone. Takes it to the net. Arizona's gained possession along the boards. Final minute approaching here in this opening frame. Denies him! Quick glove hand here. He gets the glove out to make the stop. get a hold of the puck in their own end. Moves it on over to Lee. Edmonton's got it against the boards. Quick feed to Nakis. Arizona's looking to break out of their own end. 
slides it over with pace to Young. And he slides it quickly to Young Sr. Now a quick pass to Larkin. Puts it on net. And there's the horn, mercifully bringing this first period to an end. And as both teams head to their respective rooms, two more periods still to come. We're looking forward to it here on EA Sports. Well, the first 20 is in the books. Let's see what this second period offers. Set to get underway here in the second period. We'll see if they can stop the bleeding. Well, we've got over 20 minutes played thus far. Ray, how have you seen things? Arizona's probably in a spot that they deserve to be in. They haven't had the puck very much. Of course they're going to be chasing the game. Edmonton's got a hold of it along the wall. With some open space at center. Moves right to the middle. Wrist one in front. Stopped by the goaltender. Slides the puck over. Fires it into the offensive zone. Edmonton's got the puck along the wall. Gains the zone through the middle. Here's a short pass to Gretzky. Denied by the goaltender. And as he opts to freeze the puck, we get a whistle. Starting to look like a little bit of a fire drill in the zone, so this is a good play. Still plenty of time left in this frame. Three nothing is where we sit. The Oilers will go to work here in the offensive zone. Into the attacking area from the left side. Makes the save. Edmonton's got the puck along the boards. The Oilers gain control of it. Through center. Moves it to McDavid. The Coyotes gain possession in their own end. They gain the offensive zone from the middle. Puck scooped up by McDavid. On the back end! Oh, he got puddled by Brossois! Quick pass to McDavid. Can't connect on the pass. Who's the puck? Big time stop there. A spirited battle along the boards for the puck. Maintains possession. Up the neutral zone now. Moves inside! Huge stop by Brossois! Moves it quickly over to Young Sr. On the attack along the boards. Quick feed to Larkin. And that's broken up. Now he takes it over the line. Here's a shot and makes the save. And the puck stopper jumps on top of it to get a stoppage in play. We're going to back this up again and get another look at this stop the goalie makes. He makes a solid save on a really dangerous chance. Some last-second communication with the D as centers get ready to drop the puck. Play resumes as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Still lots of time left in the period. Edmonton's been the better team, and the scoreboard reflects it. They lead it 4-0. The frozen biscuits dropped, and we are back underway here. Hall's got it across the line. Arizona's got a hold of it against the wall. Now that's a great heads up in the defensive zone to force the turnover. Edmonton's done an excellent job tonight being in the passing lanes. They've intercepted a pile of passes. One of the reasons they're way up in this game. The Oilers gain control of the puck against the wall. 
They're picking up steam through the neutral zone. Moving to the middle. Here's a shot. And the puck dies with the trapper save. Arizona's playing it through center. Takes that one right in the logo. And there's the whistle stopping the play. His ability to create in several different ways makes him tough to handle. Probably why he's in the top of the league in points. Gretzky's won a big draw on their own end. Receives the pass. With possession along the wall. Comes up with a stop. Here's a short pass to Gretzky. That opportunity is rejected. There's a whistle as the official's calling for a penalty here. The Coyotes have been handed two for interference. Sometimes you get caught in the wrong spot on the ice. He clearly interferes with the other player's progress. Wrong place, wrong time. You're right on that one, Ray. Messier is looking to help the power play unit strike here, guys. Let's see if he can use his zone ability to help them get a good look here. Two minutes for interference. Time with the penalty. Kempe's gliding in for the face-off as this penalty kill will continue. The Coyotes win the draw. And the puck clears the zone. The Oilers have it now. Moves it to McDavid. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. Aaron pass, and they can't connect. Angles it over to Kempe. Puts it up front. Oh, and comes up with nothing on the play. Most dangerous place on the ice, and he can't capitalize. Here he is in front. Scores, and the power play strikes again. James, they've been working on this in practice for the last little while. It's come through big for them tonight. That's a quick one-timer right in front of the net. The pass is there. He's got no time to do anything with it, and he beats the goalie. The Oilers widen the gap yet again here, Ray. As an offensive player, when these nights happen, you can't get out there fast enough. You think each shift is going to bring you another goal. Takes the pass. And now he moves it quickly to Coffey. Sends the pass over. The Oilers take it along the wall. And that pass can't connect. Comes up with a stop. You know when you're looking for a buddy in a crowded train station? Well, now you got to find a little puck through the bodies there. Good luck to you. Found it. McDavid's become a 200-foot player. Coaches love to talk about guys that are effective at both ends of the ice. If you are, you'll be on this list of plus-minus leaders. Here in the back half of this period, the Oilers have made this a thrashing with their latest goal. Coffey's lugging the puck. The Coyotes gain control of the puck. Slammed hard against the wall. That's a 50-yard dash and a 25-yard gym. Takes it and looks ahead. Along the half wall with the puck. Arizona's got control of it now from their own end. Quick pass to Hall. No one home on that play. Edmonton's got it along the wall. Oh, what a stop! And doesn't go! Arizona's looking to break out. Brings the puck into the offensive end now. Moves it quickly over to Young Sr. And he denied that opportunity. He's one of those born leaders, James. He doesn't try to lead. He, just... he clearly doesn't like that. They're going to go. You lay a hit like that on a star player, I think you expect that somebody's coming after you. And here they come. And down he goes, pretty much bringing an end to this one. Yeah, he was in control of this fight the entire way.
Maybe this will spark them. Maybe they'll get back in the game, but they're getting blown out here. This might be the first time the crowd's been on their feet in a while. Action set to resume here after what was a wild couple of minutes on the ice there. Gretzky's ready for the draw as we get set to resume this power play. Off the draw, and a nice job locking up his opponent. Puck grab by Bertuzzi. Slides it back to the blue line. Cuts to the front, and that's another power play marker. Oh, the power play coach is going to be pumped here. They've done some extra work on the power play over the last 10 days or so. Really paying off tonight. I love this, James. I mean, this is kind of what I did. You get into close quarters here, that puck's got to go quick into the net. Second communication before both teams get ready to drop the puck here. Good job tangling up his opponent here. And that's poked away by Dreisaitl. Passes the puck over to Hall. Centering pass! Stopped by the goaltender. Uh, he's going to feel he missed one there. You don't get many chances that clean. The goalie turns it aside. Back to the blue line. Goes off a twig into the offensive zone, and that's a smart heads up play by Dreisaitl. The Oilers have been by far the better team tonight. There's another intercepted pass, and they're just laying it to them. And the middle frame almost done. The Coyotes gain possession, and well, that'll get a response from center. They get into the attacking area. Strom's looking around for somebody to fight. He's going to have to go and fill the dance card somewhere else. Picked up along the wall by Hall. Edmonton's got the puck. Takes the feed from the left side. Chase right in front. He scores! Uh, 25 goals is a great number to achieve. That means you've had a solid year. Well, that would be a pretty good picture. Everybody's staring at the player below the goal line. Great, that's where the puck is, but only for a moment. The shooter is behind you, hammered into the net for the goal. Edmonton's refused to let up that chokehold here in the late stages of this second period. Total control of the hockey game from the beginning. And they have piled it on here in the middle frame. And the period has come to an end in what has been a very one-sided affair tonight. Don't go anywhere. Third period is just around the corner. Third 
period action. Are you ready? I'm ready. Ray's ready. The players are ready. Let's go. 20 minutes to go here in regulation of what has been a very one-sided affair. Well, we've got two periods under our belts to this point so far, Ray. How do you see things? The Oilers are going to be able to stretch their bench out, use four lines, and take advantage of a real comfortable lead. Pass back to the point. Oh, and he somehow got a little piece of it, and it stays out of the net. Centers glide into the dot as a face-off ready to resume play. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Through center along the wing. Edmonton's got the puck along the wall. And there's the whistle as he elects to slow things down a little. A pretty good decision here with the play starting to break down in front of him. inside their own end. Quick pass to Young. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. And that one's broken up. That pass goes a little sideways. Centering pass. The Oilers gain possession along the wall. Grabbed along the board by McDavid. Quick feed to Lee. The Coyotes scoop it up along the boards. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. Looks to set up at the point now. Glove save by the goalie. In front of the net, the goaltender covers up for a whistle on the play. The Oilers win it in the defensive zone. Battling for it along the boards. Scooped up along the wall by McDavid. The Oilers move it in. Puts it on net. Turns it aside with a glove. Russ was one of the group today for sure. It's not been very good from him all the way out. I think it's a chance for a breather here as he hangs on and covers the puck up. Who, for the players or for you? Well, you know, I won't complain. Russ was able to show off his athleticism there. He read the deke, he took the deke and made the stop. And both centers glide into the dot as a face-off set to resume. Larkins won it off the faceoff. Arizona's moving it up the ice. Here comes the oh. pushback. Young's not interested in dropping the mitts and going at it. Takes the pass as he banks it off the wall. And that one's broken up by a great defensive play. And he feeds it down to Larkin and tries to make a diagonal pass to Young. The Coyotes carry it along the wall. Shuts him down. That's a good save. He had to struggle to find the puck to force the bodies in front of him. Slides the pass over to Curry. Slides the puck into the offensive zone. Can't connect on the shot. That's some smart heads up defensive play by Young. And he slides it quickly to Coffey. Takes the pass from the left wing. Here's a shot off a stick. The Coyotes get a hold of the puck along the boards. Takes the feed. And skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away. Taken along the wall by Young Sr. The lane was plugged up and that shot's blocked. Lee's got it along the boards. Slides it quickly to Lume. With the blast! And that shot gets caught in traffic. Picked up along the boards by Coffey. Oh, he's going to get called on that slash. Whistle blows the play dead. Goaltender can't even get out. The Coyotes will serve two for slashing. There's a penalty of frustration right there. He just reaches out, whacks the player, and goes to the box for a couple minutes. As we're about to drop the puck, the power play unit back out onto the ice for another opportunity. 
I've liked the way they've run their power play tonight. They've been successful scoring, but also they've really looked in unison. Takes it right in the chest. And we're going to get a stoppage here as the referee blows the play dead. Hayton's ready for the draws. They will continue to try to kill off this penalty. Edmonton's won the draw. Here's a blast! We'll get a face-off, and some lucky fan gets a memory of a lifetime. Gretzky's got to be satisfied about his contributions. He's used his zone ability to generate scoring chances, guys, and it's really worked out for him. Back underway, and they take possession here inside the offensive zone. Oh, and serves up a little too... Scores! The power play and cash in earlier, they do so again here. Really nice effort with the extra man. That pass is perfect. I mean, James, I think you could probably receive that thing. It's right in the middle of the blade, flat and crisp. Off they go. He made a great, accurate pass. And picks up the assist thanks to his tape-to-tape -tape superstar ability. His teammates just love when he distributes the puck like that, guys. Slides it across to Hall. Good reach to the stick to knock the puck away. And it's a quick pass to Young. And reads the play perfectly and picks off the pass. Edmonton's dominance tonight can be attributed to the way that they've played positionally. They've smothered the game, and they are way out in front. And he slides it quickly to McDavid. The Oilers walk the line. And just out of arm's reach on the play. Great defensive effort with the stick. Here's a short pass to Hall. Edmonton's got the puck. Exploring options here inside the defensive zone. The Oilers looking against the half wall. And that's broken up. Sends a pass over. And just a good old-fashioned solid body check on the play. Sends it to the cross side. Arizona's gained possession along the boards. Strom's got it in the offensive end. Comes up with the glove save! Goaltender covers up and will get a face-off. The Canucks are on the schedule next for these guys. We had a coach, James, that would ask us in a random meeting, who are our next three opponents? You'd be amazed how many guys would get two of the three wrong. What about you? Always knew. You always do. Yeah. Well, I... Smartest guy in the room, right? No, just <laughs> paranoid. <laughs> Slides the puck ahead to Dreisaitl. Takes the feed. Slides it diagonally to Hall. Arizona's got the puck against the boards. Moves it to Nakis. And now it's to Messier. The Oilers play it along the boards. The Coyotes take over on possession. From the right side, he goes to the middle of the neutral zone. Hall's calling card is that he can score. He doesn't have anything tonight, and really, like most of his team, it's been a long game. They're getting clobbered. Oh, there's going to be a penalty on this play here, James. There's the whistle. Penalty coming up. Barry's been nabbed for tripping. Played with fire. He got burned, Ray. Oh, he's digging around for the puck, and sometimes you just get caught. This time, the player goes down, and he's got to go to the box. Our first opportunity to look at the power play unit set to go to work. You want to win the special teams battle almost every night. Well, the power play's first chance to check in here. We'll see what they can get done. They clear the zone. Arizona's got it from behind the net. Young swooping in on the attack. And uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. Picked up along the wall by Young. Can't find his man. 
And they send it down the ice. The Coyotes gain control of the puck against the wall. Quick pass to Young. Turned aside with the glove. And they'll get a breather as the goaltender covers it up. Messier's side still shorthanded here as they slide in for the faceoff. Edmonton's got it in the defensive zone. Nice job to escape the zone. The Coyotes have it behind the cage. Moves it quickly over to Young. Edmonton's got a chance to work the transition game now, shorthanded. Gets it out of his own end. Arizona's got a hold of it along the wall. Edmonton's defense has been exceptional. They've defended well, kept the front of the net clean, and whenever there's a rebound, they get it out of there fast. Handles the puck. Denies him with the pad. And the goaltender grabs that one for a whistle to try to slow things down here. Messier's recognizing they're still shorthanded here as they get ready for the faceoff. Edmonton's won the draw. Sends it over to Messier. The Oilers take it across the line. And the shot dies in the traffic jam. Scrum along the boards as they battle for the puck. Arizona's got a hold of the puck now. Streaking into the attacking zone for the right. Quick feed to Larkin. And the power play unit comes up empty on that one. Well, the penalty killers can go back to the bench knowing they did their job. Score remains the same as it was when that penalty was taken. Play set to resume with the faceoff ready to go. Who had the edge? Carlin standing by with the answer. Gretzky's... And he's going after him here. Woods is looking for somebody to engage in a fight with. He can't find the right guy. Here he is in front! And he'll likely feel that one in the morning. Edmonton's got the puck in the defensive end. The Coyotes have it in the offensive zone. The Oilers have it now. Here's a short pass to Dreisaitl. Puts it to the front of the net! Doesn't go! And he was right there! They can't connect! Edmonton's got the puck along the boards. Moves it to Dreisaitl. Right side set up ahead into the middle of the ice. Move to the middle, and they come up empty-handed. Right in the slot. Oh, and he'll be shaking his head on that as they were so close. Hall's got it in the defensive end. Into the corner now. Denies him in close. They work the puck into a scoring spot, get a pretty good chance on goal. They just can't find a way to finish it off. Has dropped and we are back underway. Quick pass to McDavid. Off the left wing and into center. Fantastic save! Russ Watts taking away all of the rebound possibilities by putting that puck in the corner. Coming down the left wing and into the zone. And things start to ramp up a little bit now on the ice with that play. Edmonton's on the attack. Long reach breaks up the momentum. Grabbed along the boards by McDavid. And that one's broken up. He carries the puck up along the wing. Moves it quickly over to Young. That's off a stick. Coffey's got the puck along the wing. Edmonton's got possession here in the offensive zone. And that carries off a stick. Handles it along the blue line. Quick feed to Chikrin. From the right side, they gain the zone. Puts it on there. Off target. Here's a short pass to Strom. McDavid's got the puck in his own zone. Oh, he'd like to have that pass back. And not much on that one. That'll do it. And man, oh man, what a special night. 
can almost see the relief in his body language in front of the cage. His teammates surround him for his first ever shutout. They're feeling good about this one, and here they come back out onto the ice, Razor. Unreal support from their fans. They salute them a thank you for their efforts tonight. For my broadcast partner, Ray Ferraro, my name is James Cebalski. Thanks so much for joining us. Good night.